Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought I would uh, show you how I've made these uh, tags that I've I just started this morning. Where did I put my uh, my little uh, tag that I made? So this is a tag where I've done the uh, swatching, and then I've you can just put like a little tag in here as well. It's a and I've basically swatching on vellum. Uh, and you've seen this look a lot. Uh, the watercolor, um, as a watercolorist and painter, I, I do a lot of swatching. Uh, and I do it every time I do a, a sketch in my sketchbook. I swatch out the colors along the side. I've been doing that for years. Uh, and I've seen more folks using this sort of technique. I've seen some beautiful, actually Rachel does some, has some beautiful digitals that has her swatching in it as well. Uh, and Leslie um, from 507 Willow House Journals, and lots of other people are doing it as well. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to have fun with this and give it a go. And I thought it would be fun to try putting it on vellum. So I did some testers with watercolor on vellum, uh, and it does work. It takes a long time to dry. It tends to, it can, um, depending on how wet your watercolors are, uh, you can get water droplets and whatnot inside. So I decided I would give it a go, but instead I would use uh, Copic markers or any alcohol marker. And it works so well and it dries immediately. And one of the fun things about it is that, um, for example, these are just my going to be my bases. Um, if you turn it over, this is the side that I did the, the actual uh, very quick um, swatching with. You can see it on there. I uh, actually see it better on the back. But if you turn it over, it's a little more muted. And uh, and that's because that's the back side of the vellum. Anyway, I think that's super fun. Now, I did use some a new digital from Took at Took's Craft Table. Uh, and it's her Flowers and Beauty kit. I think it's her background kit that I used to make a number of these tags. And they're just her... Uh, her beautiful image on uh, I've glued it onto um, coffee stain paper and then I've cut them all to a somewhat regular size. Oh, that's a pretty one. Um, and then I'll, I'll cut them as I go. But I thought before we got started, maybe we'll do a few. Um, I've got some birds. I've got a couple of journals I'm working on that have feature a lot of birds. And so I thought it would be fun to play with those as well. So before we get started, maybe um, we'll just do a little bit of swatching and then we'll put together as many of these as we can in the uh, time allotted. All right, so I have a few that are longer and a few that are um, more rectangular. I suppose that's a rectangle too. It's just a very long rectangle. Okay, so I'm just going to move those so that you can see a little bit better. And so what I've done is I've practiced uh, and used uh, my markers. I'm using Copics, but I have other alcohol markers as well, but I just had these very, very close at hand. Um, the, uh, the nice thing about using uh, Copics is I have historically purchased, I tried to purchase like three, at least three in the color family. Uh, so that would be kind of the lightest... Uh, Lighter, a lighter shade of blue, it's more teal, uh, a medium, and then a dark. You don't have to be as literal as this, as I'm doing uh, with these. You could easily change up your colors entirely. Uh, so, just to get started, I'm just going to put my... I'm not putting that there to imagine where the square would be on here. I'm just, just going to make a kind of like a square swatch and it, you don't want it to be perfect. I like going from light to dark or the other way around. That's the wrong end. I want to use the brush end. And I just want to keep them somewhat in a row. You see, I'm not worried about that being, um, you know, a perfect shape. Oh, that's a lovely blue, isn't it? And like that. There we go. So with that, and you can see it's just drying there. 
Uh, super pretty. And then when you turn it over, it's even a little bit more muted. And I think that's really, really pretty too. So that's one with the blues. Um, we can mix one up. Why don't we do like any colors we want? I'm going to do a couple of these. Any color in any order. And at least that'll give us something to play with in a little bit. Hope you don't mind that sound. <laughs> We're having a little ASMR moment there. And you could of course make circles if you want it. You don't have to stick with um, squares or pseudo squares. Whatever feels right to you and that you don't have to just do three, you can do as many as you want. My blue one down there. That. Oh, I love orange. Let's put this orange, whoop, wrong end. Let's put this orange one here. And you don't have to worry about them lining up. This is how fast it comes together. With watercolor, there's quite a wait, uh, but that's fine. So what do I want over here? Maybe a dark, the dark blue. Let's go for the dark blue. I just know that that one is really distinct. There we go. All right, so that's it for our markers. That's all we have to do. Um, that one, maybe I'll put another color at the bottom there. I'm gonna use this green because it just, I have room. Okay, there we go. And you can see how fast it's almost dry. Great, so we've got some of our swatch bases done that quickly. There's the tag we have done so far. And I think I wanted to do something with this one. Um, maybe something up at the top. Now that's the right side. If I turn it over, it's a little duller, and I like that. I think that looks great. And then the question would be, I could just put, these are Tracy's birds. These are from her Fussy Cat Birds 2. And I think they're absolutely beautiful. Look how pretty that is. I think that's going to work. And then I'm going to just put a tab so that I could actually put something in this. And I'm going to get my glue and we'll glue it down and we'll make a few tags together. Put some glue down here and I'm using my Arc Litter glue. It does uh, dry clear so that works out really, really well. And I don't mind that that's going to be cut off in a little bit. Isn't that pretty just like that? Really, really pretty. And put my glue on. I don't think I need the full of that branch, so we'll see. See how we go with that. Um, definitely feeling much better. Thank you very much for all your good wishes, everyone. So that's going to impede there, but I'm okay with that because I don't need it to be much wider than that. Like so, and then we could stick, oh, that works out perfectly. We could stick that in there if we wanted to. We could put some paper on there or an image or whatever we might want to do, but I think that's super cute. So I don't know that I want it cut very much, so I'm just going to cut a tiny, uh, take a, uh, be highly influenced by Rachel here and just take a little notch out of each of those and make them that way. Put those down on my floor. Pretty and 
super easy to do. Really, really fun. Okay, let's do a couple more. Okay, move my markers and <laughs> see if I can keep these somewhat, somewhat in frame. Okay, what else do I have here that's, this is beautiful, beautiful paper, and I can use it either way. Um, Something like that there. Okay, that's the back side. Super pretty. I like that. And what have we got? Okay, we've got this guy. Okay, that's really pretty. And you know, we could put a tuck spot down here. Tracy, I saw you do this in a recent video and you used your whale's tail as your little um, notch maker, and I was like, okay, genius. So I'm going for it. So we're just gonna go like so, and yeah, I think I was going from the bottom, wasn't I? Okay, look at how that color. It's just kind of imitating that one over there. Really like that. Okay. I did not choose these birds based on the colors I had at hand, I have to say. It just kind of happened. So that's one of those really lucky, lucky um, accidents. I know I'm going to be making a whole bunch of these. They're just really, really fun. Okay. So, put this cutie up here. Love the birds. I have two more birds, so that may be the that may be the extent of my <laughs> ability for tag making at this stage until I fussy cut some more. And look, we can just set that down in here. And of course, you don't have to have a tag at the bottom at all. Um, but I just think it's really cute to do. And then I'm just going to take this and create a tag here. So yeah, if you don't have watercolors, but you have some markers, and watercolor markers may work really well, you could use little pieces of paper, like cut out little or tear out little swatches of paper and use those instead of um, an actual um, marker or something. Let's see, I want to use a different color that I haven't used yet uh, for these back. Oh my gosh, those are so gorgeous. Okay. I know I want to have something with that pink in it for, for up here. So... And I love this bird. Maybe we want this at the bottom. Maybe on this side. And then put the bird so that it's just laying at the top. What do you think? Something like that? I think so. And I think maybe I'll have the notch on that side. Okay, let's do this and let's try not to forget I'm talking to myself. We had a little bit more snow today. Not a lot, but, you know, it's, uh, what is it they say? It, if it comes in like a lamb, march, it goes out like a lion. Well, here it's come in like a lion. Isn't that pretty? And what I love about having the vellum is that you can still see the beauty of these gorgeous papers as well back here. So we could have that back there, but I also have, I have some of these um, tickets. These are Tim Holtz tickets. And I have had these since they came out and I haven't done a whole lot with them. Oh. And I'm wondering whether I want a little bit more in the background here. Do I want to put like that there? I think so. So I'm gonna set that up in that corner
can't just kind of glue that down. So yeah, we're. Um, I hope you guys are well. I had the the grandkids and everybody over for supper yesterday. It was so nice. I hadn't seen everybody for two weeks because of this bug I've been fighting. So uh, it was great to see everybody. I made my homemade pizza. And each each week I make somebody's favorite dessert. And yesterday it was Alice's, and her favorite is my banana cake. So we had banana cake for dessert. I don't know about banana cake and pizza. You know, when you think about it, you don't often say yes. You know what this pizza needs? Some more banana cake. But it did the trick. I have to say it did the trick. So I can put that over. Look at that, we just clear where that tail went over, like that. So there's that one, and I think I'll just, because I don't want to take off this guy's beak, I'm just going to cut these corners like so. So fun. Okay, we've got, to, oh, we've got lots of time. Time to do one more. I don't know. I may have more birds here, so we'll see. Um, I don't think I've used one of these yet. Let's use this one. That's the wrong side. And then, oh my gosh, what an adorable bird. Now, we could have him on an angle. That would be good. Let's do that. Let's put a notch over here and we'll put I apologize for all of this clutter but I'm loving seeing it okay so I'll move this over here I'm going to put the notch on this side uh, and then maybe I think I have some more of, each of um, Tracy's birds here so maybe I'll just but they're not cut out maybe I'll see if I can cut out and We'll just fill the time as much as we can. Um, and I think we're going to set it over here. There we go. Now, do I want to put... Um, where was the last of those? I could put that maybe down here so that he looks like he's on it. What do you think? Or like this. Yeah, I think I like it better that way. So I'm going to set that down there. It's just nice to, well, it's, first of all, it's nice to use these because, like I said, they've been sitting in my stash and they're they're lovely. I just, I just hadn't thought of a way to use them, I guess. Okay, so there's that. And I know we're not using a lot of that branch, so I'm just going to... See, I've got marker on my fingers. I am the worst for if I'm making something, it gets it gets on my fingers. Anyway, I was saying Alice had her cake yesterday, uh, and she was delighted. Um, and then uh, my daughter put in an order for carrot cake for next week. So Great. I am the. I am kind of. They call me the queen of cakes. <laughs> Here, I make a lot of cakes. Super cute. Okay, let me get rid of this and these. Now I don't have um, any more of those tags made. So let me just. Um, I have one of these. This is a a punch. This was a punch I bought at Michaels. It's a it's a big one, and it makes these uh, this size. And it will, it's a bit noisy, so I apologize in advance. And uh, we'll just get a few of these kind of popped out. And um, there we go. Got this. There we are. 
we're good to go. Yeah, I mean, I like them even without the tag at the top, but that can go in there. Perfect. Okay, how many do we have? We made, we had one, and so then we've got one, two, three. We've made four more. Okay, I'll show you them all at the end. Let's see if we have time for me to cut out a couple of birds and um, cut out a couple of birds and then finish. Um, I'm going to take this bird, I think. This is the way I fussy cut, guys. I, I cut out around and then I, I go from there. And I do indeed use these rather large clumsy scissors, but they work for me. And um, you know what? You have to do what works for you, right? So we'll just fussy cut around here. And we'll have to make a few more uh, swatch vellum swatch pieces. And I'll have to move move like the wind. Okay. Come along. I'm not as fast as uh, Rachel is at this. Some of her fussy cutting, I'm like, I'm, I'm in awe. I do get uh, teased a lot about using the big scissors, but you know what? Like I said, they do work for me. Um, and then I'm just going to do this guy. And hopefully, I'll get as close to 30 minutes as I can. You know, that's when my, my device locks me out. So, so yes, I think I asked you, what, what are you working on these days? I'm working on, like I said, a couple of journals that have, that are, they're all of nature, of course, because you know that's kind of my thing. It's what I love to do. So I just kind of stick to what I love. Um, and these, these have a lot of birds in them, this particular um, two journals that I'm working on. Okay, one, two, perfect. Let's see, which, are there any that we haven't used? I think we've used them all. I'm going to use that because that's just stunning. And let's use this one. Okay, perfect. Um, now, I don't have any more of the, the bits done up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do two very, very quickly. So put my pin in here just to be safe. Okay. So I'm going to use, kind of st stick with the, the um, on this one, the reds and the, oh, we can do it on this too. Isn't that fun that that squeaks? Oops. I'm just going to go like that. I'm not worried too much about them not being perfect. I'm going to put the orange one here. One here. And then I'm going to use this kind of dark yellowy color. And I'm going to use the blue. Here. And I'm going to use this nice green. I really love this green. There. Okay. So we've got, I'll set that one with that one. And I think I'll use this one with this one. It will be dry at this stage. So we've got this for here. Um, where are the two birds? 
I want that one here. That looks nice, isn't it? Um, the other option, let me just let's just test it. I don't think I want to cover those over there, although I do like that with the long one. I def but I don't want to cover those berries. So I'm going to stick with my original plan. Um, and I'm just going to put a little divot up here. And I didn't, I, because I wasn't sure how much that bird's going to encroach on this, I'm, I didn't bother to uh, put the notch in the center. So I'm going to set that towards the top. And I'm going to put this cutie down here. Okay. I need to clean the nozzle of my glue bottle because it's getting... Uh, it's got some glue goobs on it. Okay. Like that. And like this, we're just going to make it for getting the next one done as well. Okay, love it. Absolutely love it. Love the colors. There we go, that one. And then let's do this last one. Okay. So that is that. I want to turn it over. This guy's going to be on this side. So I should, I think what I'll do is I will put put the, I could do it this way, just a sec, turn it. It's still got the most of the color on the other side. Yeah, I'm going to do it that way. Or, or I should say the, the side I added, I applied the marker is on that side. down here. Line it up close to the edge. Of course these will look great with um, labels as well, some of Tracy's labels. So I may add some of those afterwards. Uh, but not during the video. I don't think we have time for that. So I'm just going to add my glue. And like so. Super cute. Super cute. Okay, and I have the one that's left right there. I haven't put holes in these yet in the tops of them, but I have my hole punch handy. So, there you go. In 28 minutes, we were able to decorate uh, or create our swatches. So let me just come out a little bit so you can see more. And let's see how many of these we can get in frame. Oh, we didn't cut this one. Let's just get, do that very quickly. I do them all individually because it depends on where, for me, where the bird is, whether or not I'm going to notch them very um, you know, a deep notch or a shallow one. This is a fairly shallow notch. All right, so we've got, how many do we have? I love that one. <laughs> we haven't done anything with that one either. I'm gonna put my notch on there. Okay. There, perfect. One, two, three, we have seven. Four. I'm going to set this up a little bit. Five, six, and seven. I think that was our first one because it's got the hole in the... I had put the hole in it. So there you go. Very quick and easy, fun. Uh, make your own swatched um, tags. 
And so I've used uh, I'll link Tuke's kit below, Flowers and Beauty, and then Tracy I will link to her um, birds too, her fussy cut birds too. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!